Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. In the last episode, well, we went and checked out the First National and discovered that no one in Innsmouth knows who Brian Burnham is, allegedly. What is this? Oh. The Predator Cam. Oh, there's actually someone who was talking with a normal voice. <laughs> you good, sir. Hi. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Sorry, stranger. I can't help you. Aw. Oh. Okay. Well. No, he's not gonna let us through over here. It won't open. Hey, whoa, hi. How you doing? Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked Just cuz you followed me in your Sally. Please stop bothering me, stranger. That's tit for tat though. I kind of went into his personal space bubble and he followed. So, let's walk around here and explore the rest of lovely Innsmouth, Massachusetts. Macabre capital of the eastern coast. Hey, sailor. I'm looking for Brian Burner. I don't know, burn up. Uh, ooh. You have some nifty scars right there. Or gills. So, let's head... Well, that is a body... Wow. Okay. Hi. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Evening. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, miss. Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. Hmm. Okay, well, she seemed a, like a friendly this face. This doll seems more open than some folks around these parts, but she isn't going to talk to me right now. It doesn't look like it. It won't budge. Hmm. Okay. Looks like... Oh, hey! That's the guy that we knew saw from earlier. Hi! Hello, Mackie. Jack! Swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella. If a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store. A rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Okay. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty. But I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is gonna crack this case. Okay, so no leads there. John Brothers Storage. There's the young lady we talked to earlier. Didn't... wait, I saw another window too. Oh. Hi. Great, another hung body. That's not good. I don't think I'd want to go in there either. So, we'll just head this way. And we didn't go down this path. I'm looking for more of those little windows we can go into. 
That background noise, man. This guy looks like he could show us a good time. See? Hi, don't don't let us disturb you. Do your business. Wash your hands. What a charming singing voice. Interesting that it would have a Innsmouth would have a bar. That's the valiant strength. No, who is that there? Who can you spare a few pennies, young Mister? I can give you something for your generosity. I bet you could. Who are you? Zadok. That's been my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Helen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your head. So he's our first lead because he's the only local who has flat out admitted that he knows who the Burnham boy is. And fortunately, we got a bottle of bootleg rum from the safe at the uh, First National. So we will go ahead and make sure to hand this off. That should wet your whistle. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. There'll be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. <laughs> vomit! Okay, he didn't give us vomit. <sighs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that star rumor in an anchor in an lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. <clears throat> old Captain Mobin, where it all began, telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that that answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and 30 of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks, all were crying. Till that artful night of 46, them's out outside of reckon as it being a riot. But I seen them, swarms of them. Look, old man, I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, psst, was a massacre. The jail thrown open, mounds of the dead and the dying. <gasps> Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all? Said the old captain was now. Deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? Kind of overdid it. That's old wastes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. 
Just head over to this hole in that dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Okay, thank you, Zadok. Now, Zadok was actually a character in the novella, The Shadow Over Innsmouth, that Lovecraft wrote. And a lot of what he tells in that story is exactly what he told in the short story. So, that's that's pretty cool that he did that. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you going to even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence. And unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. Hmm. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly. You that was the girl that Brian was going to run it's away with. To be seen talking to outsiders. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. No. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me. I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Very cool. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. <laughs> yeah, what will the people of Innsmouth think? I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. Indeed. Let's go ahead and save the game. Get out of here. Poor Zadok. Now, the interesting thing, he talks about the night in 46. If I look at the manuscript with the collection of genuine... It's 1922. So he was alive and apparently sailing in 1846, which makes him of a very advanced age. I think in the short story, he was supposed to be close to 100. But... No... Predator vision. Okay, I didn't see anyone. So now we'll head to the poorhouse. Which, if memory serves, is over here next to the hotel. Yeah, you better run. Let's see if we can actually read this statue. The statue is very interesting. It has a very headless horseman vibe to it. Innsmouth to the sons who died for liberty, 1776 to 1781, or 1775. This statue commemorates the men who fought in the Revolutionary War. Hmm. Sniffing around what they wanted. Yeah, Dad burn it. Okay, here's the poorhouse. It's unlocked. And this looks like a lovely entrance to a poorhouse. Mm, now, a visit to the old town, part two. Monitor your heartbeat. Because that's a direct correlation of your insanity meter. Oh. Okay, shift. That's cool. That's holding your breath or something like that. If I see you without fire, I'll report your order. I'll not say nothing. Well, that's the second female we've seen in this town so far. Hi. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Okay. I have a strange feeling I'm being watched. Yeah, it... Oh! Hi? I don't remember you from the first time I played this game. It won't open. <laughs> yeah, it won't open. That's... crazy. 
It's all wrapped up in rags and such. And he follows you. Huh. Yeah, check this out. Uh-huh. Do you need any help? Come on. Lift your eyes just a little bit. See those fish eyes. It's still being watched, apparently. Is there anywhere if we can open? It won't budge. And that's where we went, so we'll head... Okay, here's the poorhouse. Hi! This town's deserted. Where is everybody? It's getting late, outsider. Folks who know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. Alright, where would you... What were you looking at? Huh. It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. And we cannot close it behind us. That's never a good sign. And I can hear creepy crawlies already. It won't open. Hello, sir. Since old Lady Warren's passed away, oh, the food is around. Did you see it? But we'll die soon enough. That is your very first glimpse, if you haven't played this game, of a deep one. One of the most well-known monsters in the Lovecraftian mythos. What are you looking at there, old timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What you doing in old Warren's house, young feller? This all is for the broke and the dying. I'm trying to find Dock Street. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up, and all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attics. How would you like to be living in a town like this? I wouldn't. Feller. I've been to more welcoming places. I don't think he's been outdoors for years. He isn't going to know anything. Well, let's head this way. Hmm. It's a nice looking rug up there, if not for the bugs flying around the lights. This almshouse is home to the old and the destitute. Mm. Her sleep is restless and erratic. Oh, look, she's covered in bugs. There's bugs everywhere. Ooh. I will take that. Guess we head this way. Wanted to check all of our surroundings. Oh. The old woman's dead. It won't budge. Man. Let's head this way so we don't have any uh, falls like we did in the last episode. It won't budge. Interesting. Anything. Hi! How you doing? Oh! Okay, I forgot. Jack does not like heights. So, let's get down here, like, quickly before he falls. There we are. Now, let's see if there's anywhere else that we can get into. It won't budge. We are on Dock Street now, so that's good. We get to it won't go budge. find the person that we need to talk to. Oh, it's uh, one of the tainted females. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? I'm looking for Brian Burnham. I never had no Brian. Oh, that voice is lovely. Okay, we're just gonna leave you be, ma'am. I can't handle the hotness. We can head down here. Police line, do not... Oh! Holy crap. Jesus, those people have been ripped apart. Yeah. Let's head back up here. Get our bearings. Yeah, easy. 
Who saw Jack? Who saw? Okay, we're good now. And I guess we're at the right place. Because the cinema just started. Hello there, little lady. Mm. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mommy's upstairs in the attic. She's been bad. <sighs> I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love Mommy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. Okay, so... I should check the place over while I've got the chance. Fair enough. Nothing of interest. Oh, hells, bells. I just realized she's singing the song that's playing on the record player when Jack hangs himself in the intro. Now, let's... What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of Mommy and Daddy. Yeah. That looks lovely. Well, it won't budge. That's coming from upstairs. A house plant. Tip. Thank you, Jack. It won't budge. Is there anywhere else that we can go into? Doesn't look like it. It won't budge. It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. Hmm. Did we meet Thomas Waits? An old chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. I don't think we did. Nope. Nothing of interest. An old chest of drawers. I'd... Nothing of interest. Okay, that's not a... It won't budge. Okay, there we go. Okay, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy there. Nothing of interest. It won't budge. Okay. Easy there, Jack. Jack is a lot more susceptible to mania than he was in the Xbox version. By the way, I wanted to uh, clarify. The Xbox version of this game actually came out in 2005. The PC version came out in 2006. So the game that, the game that I played is a decade old. Okay. Knock, knock. Jump scare. <laughs> oh, st She was overcome by my cologne. Alright, let's get... Oh, passed out. What's happening to me? Oh, crap. Okay, we are in the... In the asylum. What's... Oh, okay. We're coming too. Am I injured? No, I've got... Oh, I am injured. Let's use a med kit. Now, before... Let's... We hear crying downstairs. Looks like a diary. And I think that's everything over here. So, let's head downstairs.
No. Oh, God. No. They've taken the last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was caught by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with the crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary upstairs. Hurry, Jack. What the hell's in the safe anyway? Okay, we're getting the key. You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. And that's less than blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. Hmm. <laughs> Taking her for a snack, I guess. Oh, man. It won't Okay, budge. I don't think we can enter anything budge. else. So, we're gonna go ahead... Actually, let's try and find a safe spot. Before we call it an episode. Head back. Oh, hi. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. You don't say. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh. And she'll, I guess, walk off. And the murder scene has been conveniently cleaned up. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and find a safe spot, and we'll continue in the next episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked the video, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.